Hey everyone, it's Nick and Chelsea Drislo here with the Drislo's Happy Home Team and uh, popping in here to provide an October 2018 real estate market update. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things that have changed very recently this year. Um, you know, since February 2012, pretty much all we've seen is a month over month appreciating market. That was where things kind of finally bottomed out, market turned the corner, and we've seen a steady rise in prices and appreciation and inventory has been at very, very low levels. And so that was kind of where things were all the way up until about March of this year. And then fast forward to today, and you've undoubtedly seen articles and headlines talking about the Seattle markets cooling off and, and you know, what does that mean? And so we wanted to kind of share with, you know, what exactly has changed. And so the beginning of the year, we started out with about 1500 homes for sale in King County. Um, and since that has climbed dramatically to about 6,500 homes for sale. So there's a lot more homes to choose from. So Chelsea, what does this mean for buyers in our market today? So things have changed dramatically for the way things are working with buyers. We kind of got accustomed to waive all your contingencies and just put it out on the line so you can hopefully win a house somehow, some way. Um, so it was getting kind of you know risky. Um, what people were kind of putting themselves and overexposing kind of to a degree. Um, and I'm a lot more comfortable working with people right now in the market because things have kind of gotten to a nor more normal state uh, where you can actually get have an inspection contingency and do your inspection after you've gotten your offer accepted. So you know that the price and terms are going to work for you before you pay for an inspection. Um, and then you can also have a financing contingency intact. So you know that you're, you're protected that your financing needs to go through in order for you to be obligated to purchase, including appraisal working out and appraisal coming in at value. So these were things that we were kind of having to put a kibosh on to make our offers stick in the previous months, but now we've kind of gotten to a place where we've even had home sale contingencies coming together, which were the things that people would brush off and they would go right into the garbage. But now we've had multiple home sale contingencies accepted, which is allowing some of our sellers to make moves that they weren't able to do previously. So now yeah. it's kind of opened up some opportunities for some of our sellers that are also buyers, but what else is going on with sellers? Yeah, so great point about the contingencies because that was a big thing when the market's so hot, it's like, gosh, yeah, I could sell my home for a great price, but then where the heck am I gonna go? You know, because there was nothing else to choose from or maybe you have to make multiple offers before actually one sticks due to that competition. So as Chelsea mentioned, yeah, now we're actually, just this last month, we've had three home sale contingencies accepted where basically you can put your home up for sale, tie up another home, and basically your purchase is subject to you getting an offer accepted on your home. So it allows sellers to breathe a little bit easier, um, feel like they're not so trapped into one possible option. It gives them a little bit more options. It also does mean there is more competition for sellers now than there was in the beginning of the year. So, you know, we have to kind of just approach it with a different mindset. It's not so much that we can put it on there, we're gonna get 10 offers, the price is gonna drive up, or maybe you could overprice it a little bit, but the market will climb and eventually catch you where you are. So now we are in a very price sensitive market. And so if it's not priced sharp from the beginning, you're seeing more and more price reductions going on in the marketplace today uh, for people trying to kind of navigate all these changes that are going on. So um, that's the biggest thing for sellers is that you're gonna probably have to negotiate a little more in terms of dealing with inspections. Um, and also you need to be very competitive with other homes that are out there. But that said, if you're also buying, the challenges on the selling are a benefit on the buy side. Yeah, so there's more kind of, choices for, for buyers to like more options to choose from. We, uh, but previously, we were kind of waiting for the next thing to come on the market to see if it was going to be a good fit. And then we're probably going to have to go compete for it if it was. And now we may have a couple of few options that you maybe you like this yard better. Maybe you like this kitchen better, but you're they're checking most of the boxes and you have more to choose from. So we definitely have more to look at. Um, so if you're interested in going out and looking at it, you should, if you were looking before and got a little frustrated, you definitely are going to want to check with your lender because um, things have also changed a little bit on that end of things where interest rates have started to creep up um, and uh, we're now closer to 5% is kind of around where we're at for rates mm -hmm. and um, so that could make a dramatic impact on what your affordability would be so we definitely want to check and see how that might translate with what you might be able to afford now with that change having happened because um, a 1% change in interest rate is about the same equivalent of a 10% change in purchase price mm -hmm. which can be a huge swing so you definitely want to make sure you're on top of those rates and lock in to the right house and the right rate as fast as possible. Yeah, and then uh, last thing we're seeing right now too is just that um, prices, you know, we're, we're, we kind of hit, sort of hit that ceiling of what the high paying jobs in our area can afford. And this is the seasonality time of year where maybe do see things 
come back a little bit from what that same home possibly could have sold for in kind of a frenzied spring market, if you will. So um, below in the comments, we'll have um, a market reports for each specific area for Seattle, Eastside, South King County, Pierce County, Snohomish County. So you can see in those specific areas, what has been the year to date rate of sales? What is the activity in? And it's all broken out into various price points. So you can get a very hyper local and hyper specific update too. So take a peek at that. Um, and as always, feel free to call, email, text, or visit us online at happyhometeam.com. Thank you.